It is Severe Weather Awareness Week in Minnesota, and did you know that your odds of being struck by lightning is 1 in 12,000? That may be a higher chance than you might think. Ren Clayton visited a water park in Egan working to lower those odds. Air still cold and pools still empty. I'm ready for it to get back to 80 degrees and get this place open. Now is the time to prepare. Prior to last season, Cascade Bay Water Park in Egan installed a lightning detection system. It was a great resource for our staff because we no longer had to make that hard decision because the computer and the system was doing it for us. The system is like what many golf courses use. Egan's is set at a three mile radius. When lightning is near, workers get alerted on their phones and at the main computer. We don't want anybody touching the keyboard, so this is how we get it, and that's our con consistent reading. It may seem insignificant, but that little item, when it goes off during the summer can make a world of difference. It gave a, an information right to our lifeguards that we could then empty the pool, get everybody out of the water, and then it keeps mapping it until it's all clear. It was paid for by the Minnesota Department of Public Safety's Homeland Security and Emergency Management Division and their hazard mitigation funds. And this is just a piece of, of what we do. They hope what Egan has done creates a cascading effect. Well, we can do this throughout the state. It's just a matter of a local jurisdiction wanting to do something like this, contacting their county emergency management uh, team, and then they'll get a hold of us. So park goers can worry about sunlight and not lightning. In Egan, Ren Clayton, WCCO News. The safest place during a thunderstorm is, of course, indoors. A good general rule as well. When you do hear thunder, go out, uh, go inside until it's been at least 30 minutes past since you've heard that last boom.